Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been maybe three weeks or two weeks or something since my last video. And I know that if you follow me on my Instagrams, you know that I said I was gonna be posting three times a week and I haven't and I have a very good explanation why. So what had happened was one day about like, I think three weeks ago, I decided to spend an entire day to block shoot and like basically be two weeks ahead with this camera and as I was editing I started realizing that the sound slowly started going away to the point that it just completely disappeared then I realized that the mic on this camera died on me like straight up just died just died on me so all the footage that I had shot was completely useless and I almost damn near cried so I took this camera to get fixed then after she gets fixed guess what decides to start having a meltdown that right there my laptop so my laptop basically was like hey remember that one time that you fixed the mic on your camera so we decided to spice things up a little bit so the speakers are not gonna work which means that you can't edit a damn thing without sound so you know that also happened. Point is, they both got fixed. I now have a mic and I now have speakers at work, which means that I'm back on YouTube. Anyway, so let's just get started with today's post, which is going to be about first impressions for these. What was that? For these products I received from Dior. And no, this is not sponsored. And that's also another thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be letting you guys know if videos are sponsored versus not sponsored. And also something that's really important for you guys to also understand when it comes to sponsored videos, I don't talk about products that I don't use, even if it's sponsored. You know what I'm saying? I just would never do that. So, just FYI. Anyway, so this is going to be a first impressions for these Dior products. It's blushes, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip stains, and cheek glosses, or something to that effect. Anyways, it's a lot of stuff that you put on top of your face um, after you do your foundation and all that. So let's begin with that so let's begin i think the first thing that i want to try out obviously mascara because i currently look like an emoji because i got the struggle lashes and i am trying to get that patricia kiharo type of lashes um because the eyelashes are ridiculous anyways so this is a dior show pump and volume mascara and the dior show maximizer 3d primer this reminds me a lot of i think this is actually exactly how it works this reminds me a lot of like the maybelline um volume maximizer something mascara it used to come in one tube one two, uh, one half was black and the other side was white and you're supposed to use the white stuff to make your eyelashes long and stringy looking and then the black covers the white and it looks like you're lashes are just really long and really thick so i believe this is exactly how it works loving this brush by the way it's a really good brush oh i like it oh it's nice okay so now i'm gonna apply the squeezable Mascara. I don't know what the hell it's called. Squeezable. Oh! The bottom part is literally squeezable. I can actually feel the brush if you squeeze really hard. I think it's supposed to help you apply a lot more or to place a lot more mascara on the brush. I think that's what it does. I really like this mascara. I am so into this. Yeah, I squeezed it way too much. There's a lot of product on this brush. And I'm pretty sure it originally is not like that bad. I think I want to try putting the mascara and the primer on my lower lashes as well. Okay, now mascara. to it all right moving on okay so next are blushes because i'm gonna do the lips last 
Um, there, this is the one. Yeah, this one's liquid. Since there's two blushes, sorry, since there's two blushes, I'm thinking that I'll use the powder one on my cheeks and then I will test out the tint on my lips because I think this works almost like a lip stain and I don't want to apply it on my cheeks and then be like, oh snap, it's getting darker. So what I will, yeah, so I'll use this on my lips and then this on my cheeks. Okay, so this is a Healthy Glow Awakening Blush. I love this little thingy that comes, this little bag that holds the blush. And as per usual, it comes with the blush and of course the little brushes that they give you, which I don't know if anybody ever uses these. Um, let me try one cheek with this blush, with this blush brush that comes with the blush. <laughs> I like it just on my cheeks. This is so awkward. Nope. It's actually a good thing that I tried it with this because the brush that I usually use, which I'm going to show you, is the same brush that I use for bronzers. And the reason why I do that is so that when I dip into the blush, it kind of mixes in with the bronzer so it's not as harsh. But this actually is not so harsh. And it's adorable. I like it. So, blush, no blush. Okay, so now I'm going to use the brush that I usually use, which is this. And I always use this for my bronzer slash highlighter. It just has a bunch of like brown product on it, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that in a little bit with the blush. And then apply it. So much easier. I like it. I really like this because it's subtle like I can't stand when blushes are super tinted and just super pigmented where as soon as you put it on you just look like a cabbage patch doll not my thing but this one I actually really do okay I'm gonna I'm actually gonna continue using this this in the mascara for sure shall be a daily use until I finish it I think what I shall move on to now is the lips obviously and since the other blush, I mean the lip and cheek gloss, whatever thing, what's it called? The cheek and lip glow, since that one is a liquid and it might tint my lips, I think I'm going to start with the regular lipsticks and then we're going to move on up to that. I need to go get my wet wipes because I know for sure I'm going to have to like keep wiping this off. Or well, not this off, I'm going to have to keep wiping off whatever lipstick I have on. Yeah, so one second. So I have my coconut oil and my wet wipes so I can be able to be removing all the lip color that I shall apply on my lips. There is the Rouge Dior Double Rouge Matte Metal Color and Couture Contour Lipstick in Poison Apple 992. And then there is the Rouge Dior Double Rouge Matte Metal Color and Couture Contour Lipstick in matte metal 999 so the way this lipstick rolls is that it's purple but it has like a peachish pink color on the inside and my understanding of this lipstick is that it's supposed to kind of help you do the ombre effect that you usually see on instagram a lot okay So I'm kind of into this. It's a little bit more subtle. Usually when I wear such colors, I like them to be so dark, like extraordinarily dark, especially if it's a purple. I want it to be like purple, but this is nicely subtle. And with the pink, it's kind of cute. The formula is really nice. It's nice and light. Not mad at it. I really actually, this one I'm okay with. So now let's try the matte metal. Same thing, red on the outside, like a pinkish peach color in the middle.
First impression, I'm not a fan of this color. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just 100% not anything that I would ever pick. Not my favorite color. I mean, the formula was just as good as the Poison Purple, really light weight on the lips, just not a color that I would ever choose to wear. Just cause it's just not my swag. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the liquid lipstick. Um, this is the Rouge Dior Liquid Matte Liquid Lip Stain Intense Couture Color Extreme Long Wear Matte in 999. Please be intense, please be intense, please be intense. Ooh, I like the brush. The brush is nice and flexible. It's kind of cute. But the thing I'm really curious about is how it reacts when you put like a liquid or a gloss over it. So let me just grab a liquid lip gloss. Okay, so I've just applied a, I've just a little bit of a gloss over it. And it seems to be reacting pretty well. I like this color. This one I can mess with. It's also really lightweight. Okay. Okay, and lastly, let's try on the lip stain. And this one is the Matte Metal Color and Couture Contour Lip... What? No. Picked up the wrong box. Sorry, this is the Cheek and Lip Glow Instant Blushing Rosy Tint. It's not opening. Okay. It's aesthetics. All aesthetics. The cap is on the inside. I almost broke that shit. Okay, so... It seems... Is it like... Ooh. It seems... Oh, I thought it was like soup. <laughs> it just like spat everywhere. On my eyelid. Ah. Okay. So... Anyways, that happened. Is that gonna turn red? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, not shall we? <laughs> okay, so it's a lot, I thought it was like super thick, but it's very light, like it, it's a thick consistency until you like apply it onto the skin, then it's really light, almost like water. Okay, so. The brush feels so good. And it smells like, I want to say Colgate, but it's definitely not Colgate because it's not as strong. So like more of like a peppermint gum. I've applied a ton. Maybe I should chill. Or maybe I should read these instructions. Is it just, oh yeah, I should, I, okay, let me read these instructions. Hold on. Because my lips are starting to tingle. Hold up. Oh, I should have read the instructions. Okay, Dior creates its first cheek and lip blush for a long-lasting flush of pink on the skin. Cheek and lip glow instantly reacts to the moisture in the skin and lips of each woman to give a delicate flush of color in a custom radiant pink glow. It's ultra light and fr fresh. Woo wee! Gaido! Hey! It's ultra light and fresh gel. Formula blends seamlessly with the skin living nothing but the weightless veil of a healthy glow. Oh, it's working. Oh, do y'all see that? Or is it just me? Is it just me? This thing's so good. I shouldn't have put the free. Okay, sorry. No, seriously, though, it's actually working. Put some more on. Hey! Okay, I think it's ooh tingle, ooh tingle lingle lingle. It's tingling, but I'm mad at it. Mm. Okay, let's give this like two minutes, and I'll be right back, and then we'll see if it's gonna get darker. 
Okay, so I've given this about like five minutes and it just kind of looks like I ate a rod popsicle like maybe three hours ago. Like it's not a stain, but it's like I had a popsicle. So it's a stain, like a light stain. I'm going to apply my lip gloss over it. I think this is how I'm going to go for the rest of the day so anyways thank you all for stopping by um i hope you guys like this video and if you guys want more makeup videos or if you guys have brands that you want me to try or challenges that have to do with makeup that you guys want me to try please write it down in the comments down below and i shall see if i can do it thank you all for watching love you guys and i will see you on wednesday